This is the time of year when jellyfish are very common in the sound, but it's not just because the water's warm, it's because this is their breeding season. From July to August, it's probably our most thing that we see here. Lifeguards at Hammond Asset, not only keeping an eye on the water. We'll take good care of you, hydrocortisone cream or spray, and then you're all set. Busy helping swimmers stung by jellies. I think yesterday we had about six in the matter of two hours. Everyone knows me as Ranger Russ. Ranger Russ, who runs the Megs Point Nature Center, says there are three kinds of jellies in the sound. The moon jellies and the comb jellies do not sting. They're small, they're clear, and even when people run into them, it's not really an issue. The one to really keep an eye out for, the lion's mane jellyfish. They are the largest jellyfish in the world. And in the water, they can stand out. They typically have a reddish or pink color to them, although when they wash up on the beach, they will turn brown pretty quickly. While you should swim clear of any you spot, the ranger says if you are stung, it's not a big problem. You're going to feel, starting with a, a tingling, it does sting like a bee sting. It's not something that's going to be extremely painful unless you get a lot of stingers in you. The weather and tides playing a role in the number of jellies spotted going in and out with the tide and sea breeze. A tide coming in is going to push them closer to shore. A tide going out is going to pull them further away. The good news, despite problems hiring earlier in the summer, lifeguard stands at this beach fully staffed. We have 31 positions filled and that's the most that we can get. So Hammonasset is one of the parks that is fully staffed with lifeguards. As for that chance you may get stung by a jellyfish? It doesn't deter me at all. And Ranger Russ offers one really good piece of advice that if you are stung, actually just get some sand and rub it on that sting. That will take the stingers out. He says that's a little bit more effective than spraying it with vinegar, which used to be the recommendation in the past. We're live in Madison at Hammond Acid. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61 News. Beautiful day at the shore, though, Ryan. Absolutely. All right, thank you.